In defense of crime crime can be an important signal that something in society needs reforming, writes David Z. Morris. Financial surveillance that attempts to completely prevent crime could just make things worse in the long run. This piece is part of Coindesk's Sin Week. David Z. Morris David Z. Morris In primitive or medieval societies, criminal activity would often be explained in religious and even supernatural terms. A thief or habitual drunkard might have been seen as possessed by demons or overtaken by ill humors, his crimes a consequence of his own fundamental and even immutable failings. Things hadn't changed all that dramatically in some quarters by even the early 20th century, when the pseudoscience of phrenology claimed to define unreformable criminal types by their physical attributes, often as a pillar of racism dressed up as reason. This piece is part of Coindesk's Sin Week. These attitudes about crime and social deviance have been increasingly challenged by social and psychological research, helping us see crime as a symptom of larger problems with society, economics, or politics. Emil Durkheim one of the most influential social researchers of the past two centuries, argued that crime was the product of enemy, or the disconnection between individual and social goals, and could even provide insights into how to improve society. Despite these lauded ideas, the dawn of the digital age and the spread of surveillance have renewed political interest in what Durkheim would have seen as a fool's errand, the total elimination of crime through surveillance and follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.